reason is, if you're trying to charm me, I must tell you I will not share with you even a single word about me family fortune. You fiend? I thought of you better. Alright, but no uh, no counter spell or anything. I'm trying to click deception and it's just not going off. Out of character. Things like somatic or verbal components. Pretty much everyone who knows what magic is would know what those are. Yeah, I was just seeing if I could like tease a counter spell out of him. No luck. Hmm. Well, what do you uh, make of this, Merdy? I think someone wanted Edmund dead. I mean, I don't knew him. I didn't knew him well enough to be sure, but uh, he was a son of the city lord, previous city lord and uh, mayor. And he still has two younger brothers, so I think the answer is clear. Hmm. Someone uh, not very kind of Edmund wanted to off him, so one of his younger brothers took the position of the mayor. It's it's uh, not that rare if you think about it. It did happen. Edmund, Edmund was already broke and just socially demoralized. Would it have been necessary to kill him in order to, you know, usurp his uh, title? Uh, I don't know. Maybe try asking someone more knowledgeable. I, I thought I, you I were knowledgeable. I am a smackler, sir. I well, move things. I don't know things. Gritz will just whisper to him, just between me and you, stay hidden. Because I don't think this is over. He seems to be a little scared. I'll go to my room then. Uh, it might be safer. Okay, he ran. I think it'd be safer if he's with us. Yeah, that's oh. probably true. <laughs> okay, well. I was just thinking. Ah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm shooting in the dark here. Um, I'm going to try something. Uh, Matt uh, touches a feather and uh, casts uh, enhance ability on himself. That would be all's wisdom. Uh, after doing that, he uses his two remaining channel divinity to restore to level two spells. Uh, DM Matt would be trying to check if there's any uh, illusion. If you can touch it, it is no illusion. Um, okay, okay have... then he touched a, a lot of things. Um, <laughs> guys, uh, when when the dark, when the light, fell, when the light went out, uh, I I was unable to see. Somehow, you know, spell requires the target to be seen for it to work. If I was unable to see, did Carrie see anything? Did you see anything, Carrie? No, I couldn't see either. That's what I was saying. And I can usually see even in magical darkness. So if I wasn't able to see and Carrie wasn't able to see, that means that we need to find someone who is able to see in that type of darkness. That guy will be the suspect. You know what that sounds like to me? And Gritz will show them his the ring, the miracle he's wearing. When I use this, I can see through it. Mm. Without it costing anything. So I'm really, I think... I'm gonna go check out this Cohen guy. Besides, I've you know, as a performer, I've got a, a job to do. 
Hayden does have a ring that goes off whenever illusion or enchantment magic is nearby. So he'll just like pace the room, uh, giving everyone kind of like the stink eye because his his charge was murdered. You uh, sense something near Van. You sense something near Karstag, and you sense something near Sir Milo, and you sense something near Cohen. Oh. Uh, DM, Matt would try and touch a lot of things to see if their illusion does Matt see anything or feel anything. Due to there being too many things for you to touch, I will unfortunately ignore that. It is not possible. Okay, it's not possible. You, you um... can just decide to touch every plate, every apple, every chair, and, and that's not possible. Okay, um, can I just touch the faces of people, see if they're um, <laughs> trying to... Uh, okay, try... who do you want to touch? Who do you want to touch first? Um, I go through the guard, Francois, uh, then Mr. Hillbender, the bartender, Karstag, the cat, uh, Silren, then... Van. That's uh, 15 if... hit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, what is your fair... armor class without your armor? I'm wearing my armor. Why are you wearing your armor? You told me you won't. Oh, uh, it's. Uh... Okay. Then that. Yeah, that'll hit. Alright, the moment you get to Silver and you get face slapped. I don't care. You take two points of humiliation damage. <laughs> humiliation damage. <laughs> so, Loren, you were the closest, sorry. He calls you a creep. Yeah, you can call me a creep anytime you want. I'm trying to find the killer here. He goes and touches other people's faces. <laughs> I'm solving a murder! That is a very pure excuse. I, I saw this on CSI. Behavior. Uh, excuse me, I, I'm in a bit of a shock. Can I postpone my work for a little bit? I see no reason for you to work at all. I, I believe this uh, this party is cancelled, although we cannot leave, says the bartender. I see. Um, but you don't mind if I go looking around just a little bit? Maybe like in the kitchen? That is fine by me, but uh, stay careful. We don't know if the person who did it is still here. I don't feel comfortable standing out in the open, and I don't think anyone will have any, I don't know, reason to kill me. I'm just a little cobalt snake, please. You know what? Wearing this disguise is probably a good idea. Maybe. Um, Matt approaches her new. Hey, uh... Suddenly, the lights go off. Uh, Matt tries to hear. Yeah, He's Gritz is standing here. deliberately close to Cohen and, like, unpacking instruments and talking his ear off. Like, does he notice anything? So he reaches out to make sure Van. Uh, Morven has his hand. Morven ducks down and has his hands over his head. Hey, Griswold, you can hear as the bard makes several sounds using his loot. But oddly enough, you feel somewhat lighter on your spirit when he does. Interesting. 
Can Caden make a perception check and try and listen? Yeah, um, Matt would also do that uh, with guidance. What well, we're going to try as well? Well. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, for fuck's sake. Cohen still continues to play on his lute. He looks very nervously. You can see droplets of sweat rolling down his forehead and cheeks. Oh, um, can I look at his hands and see if he's wearing any rings or neck and see if he's basically trying to trying a miracle spot on him? He's wearing several rings and a necklace. Okay. Uh, Rings out of silver and bronze, while the necklace appears to be of mountain crystals. Alright, alright. And what does his instrument look like? How... If I look really closely at the craftsmanship of his lute. Please roll me insight. Uh, did, I, did Matt hear anything while it was dark? And anything um, around Cern Milo or around Silverin? Why does my character okay. sheet not work? Only the sound of falling body. Griswold, you're quite sure that this uh, flute is of best quality. Ah, shit. Yeah, I see that. <sighs> uh, I want Moven to rush over and try to perform another medicine check. Once again, you can with ease determine that this creature has been killed by psychic damage. As the internal organs have been decimated. From nose, ears, and corners of the eyes, you can see a grand amount of blood that is still dripping down. Um, let's see, so Caden, you're right there. Uh, so Caden, as soon as you move by Gritzwald, he's gonna, like, I don't, like, hey. wink at you and, uh... Caden, Gritzwald, and Movan, as you come next to Cohen, who is still continuing to play on his flute, you feel a bit at ease. Suddenly, uh, the sight of blood does not frighten you as much. You're not quite sure what's going on. Um, um. Oh, Griswold, since you are a bard, you'd be able to determine that this is Counter Charm. Yeah, oh boy. Alright, um. Hmm. Oh man, oh, I can't. Guys, uh, I'd have. The peg on this, on this thing is wedged. Um, Carrie, can you come here and help me get this thing? Guys, I'd have to remind you that we can only revive three people. Okay, it's okay. Just, um, what you I need you guys' this opinion here. We're trying to put together the set list. I just want to make sure that, you know, Matthias, uh, did, I, uh, did I give you the, the recorder? Yeah. A recorder? You know, the little, like, it's a plastic flute for beginners. No, you didn't give me anything. Are you sure? Come here, let me look in your pocket. Uh, Morven will try and tap, uh, Caden. Uh, Caden, uh, we know practically everyone here has suffered that woman over there next to the band. It might be a good idea to talk to her, if given a chance. Okay, now that everyone is where they are, Gritz is gonna cast Wall of Force in a bubble that gets Gritz, Cohen, Matthias, Caden, Carrie, Mulvin, and Sir Millo in a, a bubble of force. I'm quite I, sure that the bubble of force has 2020 in uh, it's, the. Oh, okay, hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20. Ah! Well. Okay, I guess not yet, because he's trying to get everyone all around. Stan Miller, nibbling on what appears to be the leftover of a carrot, looks at you, places one of his arms on the 
desk and supporting his chin. Well, it appears that you have quite a hard case on your hands this time. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Why not? It's not my first murder case. Definitely won't be my last. Unless something happens. People will die like flies all the time in Minecraft. I'm used to it. Um, do anybody know detect magic? Just, just between all of us, this farce will end as soon as the guilty is found, and it is brought to the knee of Lord Redwood. If you want to end it fast, I propose take Karstag. He's of no good to anyone. I think most people would actually be grateful for you for disposing of him. We, we're not just gonna kill Car. What are you talking about? The state Kar is guilty. Karstag may be weird, squirrely wizard, but he's our weird, squirrely wizard. Well, it's your choice. That's what I would do. Uh, I have an idea. How about we gather everyone in one place so we can confront the If nobody don't have to time to discuss and do the thing they want to do. Then they can't, you know, cause props and cast spells and do all sorts of magic things and try to kill other people. Good point, good point. Okay, okay. Um, similar Cohen. room at the tavern. What was so that? Why are you asking? I was asking Sir Mello if he currently has a room at the tavern. Yes, I do. If someone was invited, uh, several days before the party, then that person usually comes to the inn and orders a room for the night. So he doesn't need to, you know, spend it on a table or something. And my identity is to be protected, thus I do have a room. If it helps you, I also have a list of people who also have rooms in the tavern. Yes, we need to get them all here in one place. Immediately. First room belongs to Nobleman Van. He co shares it with uh, his bodyguard. The one room was taken by Murdy the Gnome. I've seen him run upstairs. I'm assuming he is inside already. Uh, one room to Count Damien, obviously. The biggest and best furnished. Uh, one room is mine. Uh, one room was given to the Bard. I don't know why. I don't remember him coming there, here. Perhaps it was made behind the curtains. And the last room belongs to Karstag. We need to think outside the box. Maybe someone is hiding around here. As I was a detective in the past, I can give you a small tip. Things are usually not what they seem to be. And if I were to try and solve this case, I'd try good old interrogation, forced or not, as well as going through all the belongings of the people. Hmm. <laughs> The problem is, uh, this thing seems to be magical in nature. And if they have anything magical, then we can stop them. First idea. of all, first of all, did you already establish the motive? No. The motive seems to be, like, you know, Messing with us. And you believe that? I don't mm. believe that. Well, I mean, we haven't told Sir Mello about the note, so Chris won't say anything. But he is, he's, he's holding Everyone. his action to silence Cohen if the lights go off. 
A look around your room full of nobles or individuals of peculiar background. What do you think holds them all together? There must be a reason. These are the people who, that were at the adventuring guild. The thief is targeting only them so far. My car stag might be next. I... Someone is next. I just wanted to... What, make, what makes you think that Karstak is next? Because, uh, Eldman is a part of adventuring... Well, in the adventuring guild, we see him all the time. So is Theron and Karstag. So, he could have killed... Maybe... Could have killed, maybe... Ban. Ban used to be a big target because, well, he's an asshole. Even if it's Van, I'm not willing to sit around and wait for the next person to have their head popped. That's why I recommend that we try to gather everyone in one place as quickly as possible and try to talk to him. Okay, alright, uh, because then... I believe Karstag is next. Then, uh, I'm gonna stay here. And work on the set list, and, uh, you guys should... I bring everyone to the stage. I think that should be that. Wait, 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 wait. If this is uh, magical in nature, and no one has moved uh, aside from Murdy and uh, Mr. Re uh, Redwood, then if the killer is not invisible, since Caden uh, was looking and Anu was looking through everything invisible. I think the killer is still here. Me too. And since the killer is still here, and it's magical in nature, and magical, and magic has just, has its own set of uh, limitation like range and sight lines. Yes. You see where I'm going? I do. So we should determine we. What's the range? <laughs> Does Cohen still have his loot in his hands? Yes, he continues to play on it. The counter charm. Uh, the counter song. You can see that he's quite nervous. Unless he is in. Um, can Matt make an insight check to see if Cohen is... Um... You know, uh, if he is the one, if he's planning on murdering anyone, if he's targeting people. How would you do so? Um, he'd try and see if he's uh, looking at people and... Uh... Oh, okay. I got, I mean, do your inside check, but. Uh, he, if he's looking at people at set, uh, looking at people, but you know, it's not a glance, it's more of thinking, deciding uh, who to kill, uh, thinking, deciding, trying to judge uh, each uh, person. And if he's uh, showing um, fear. All right, please follow me inside. Um, with advantage. Where does advantage come from? I'll, uh... <laughs> Enhance ability. Uh, I'll something something. Oh yeah, enhanced ability. Uh, it gives him advantage on ability checks. Okay. You can't tell if the creature is truly concerned or scared. Okay. Perhaps it was just unable to reveal its true intentions. 
we're doing this. Um, Guys, uh, we need to start making moves. Wow. Yeah, Grit so Grits is going to ask to see Cohen's loot. Uh, why are you doing that? Can I gather people here? Oh, yes, yes. Why I would just... you want to see my loot? It just the, the fret work looks. Are those scalloped frets? I can't see from down here. I'm only two and a half feet tall. No, this is elvish magic. Quite important and powerful. You, and I, the okay. only object of worth I have. I am not handing it to you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I, I I understand because I'm the same way with my lyre and my bagpipes. If you could just put it, um, I won't touch it. Just put it down in front of my face so that I can look at the little elven inlays. Because this, I'm. <laughs> I'm a bard, too. I love this stuff. Very well, but no touching. No touching, and he'll just put his hands up in the air. And then once the once he presents the loot uh, in front of Gritzwald, he's going to cast... He's just going to touch it once with a little uh, sparkle of gold dust and cast a movable object on it. What? what did you do? I told you not to do anything stupid. I'm just trying to make sure you don't do anything stupid, buddy. Why you ever hear I... of a spell called Synaptic Static or uh, maybe Psychic Scream? Making people's head explode is a... You, you know, you should have maybe gone with something a little uh, more mundane. Wait, how do you know these things? If you're a bard too, then you surely know about. Are you? The... Oh, oh no 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 no! He says as he lets go of the loot and immediately sprints upstairs. Wall of force. Around us, I guess that's just me, Matt, and Cohen. Uh, let's see, how do I draw that? On the top right... Uh, also, top oh, freehand? Yes. Uh, Griswold, I won't allow you to cast it within 60 feet, as casting immovable object was your turn, a running would be Cohen's turn. Oh yeah, no, that, that is fair enough, but we got its instrument. In 60 feet, he'd be able to get upstairs before you're able to Cast. Got it. Okay. Alright, uh, downstairs, uh, we're in the kitchen. Uh, Morgan will approach the worker. Um, excuse me. Uh, it might be a good idea to come upstairs because we're looking to find some murderers. And if we gather everyone in one place and keep a close eye on them, we can make sure that everybody can be safe. The person standing right next to the shelf stands with its back towards you. It stares blankly on the shelf. You don't think it's moving. What shelf? Can you point to it? Oh, this one. In front of you. It's moving? It's not moving. The, sh the worker is not moving. It's not reacting to you. Uh, I want to have Morven try to touch her. The moment you touch her, like a fallen log, she falls down. Guys, I have a situation here. Uh, Gritz, we should accompany so Morven. Yeah. I am... Gritz, I think you should accompany Morven. And uh, try and... Observe this area, see if anyone moves. I'll yell out if I need any help. What about Cohen? Oh shit, alright. Cohen, that like, very suspicious. Um, um, Do you need any help? Uh, uh, I think Mulvan is crying for help. Shit. We split the party, split guys. The party. Damn it. Kaden, uh, you go with Grits home. Let's go. 
So she would just stand and then she just crumble as soon as Moven touched her, right? Yes. 